Okay, so see if you guys can figure this out. So I'm gonna lay the challenge in front of you as well. The, the, the challenge is don't use Google, but I have a list of numbers here. How would I find the largest value that is in this list? How would you do that? All right, so this was a challenge that I placed in front of my Python Club students, and they almost got there. They almost figured it out without using Google or anything. There's two different ways. Actually, there's lots of different ways to do it, but there's two main ways. If you can figure it out, include a link to your code down in the comments. Don't cheat and watch the rest of the video, but let's see if you guys can figure it out. All right, you give up? All right, so there's two ways. We can create a for loop that loops through the entire list and compares the number it's on to the highest number it has encountered so far. So we can create a variable called largest and we're just gonna set that equal to zero. Zero is right now the largest number that we have. Oops. Then what we can do is we can create a for loop that for i in numbers, so for a variable inside of our list of numbers, we will compare if i is larger than largest, so basically is the number we're on bigger than the number we've already encountered? If so, set this new number that we're currently on to be the largest number. So largest equals i. And then we can go ahead and then just print out largest. Cool. So if we run this, we can see in our console, it started at 6,907, went through these numbers until it hit 8,639, switch that to be the largest number until it hit this number here, switch that to be largest, and then went through the rest of the list until it hit the last number. This last number is actually the largest number. But Python's clever. There's actually a built-in method that you can use. So what we can do is we can, let's just print out the max value that's in this numbers list. Run it, and we print out the largest value. It's that easy. Python thought ahead. Python is used to dealing with large sets of data, so it created a built-in function that allows us to find the largest number in this list. Now, why would we use this function instead of the for loop? Why did they even create this? Well, the for loop does take some time to run. A for loop has a time cost to it. So you can imagine 100 numbers, not a big deal. 1,000 numbers, probably not a big deal. 250 billion numbers, that's a big deal. Creating a for loop that will loop through every single number and check every single number against a value that you have stored, that's gonna take a lot longer than a built-in function. So Python is used to using we're dealing with large values, so they created a function to handle large values, at least when it comes to finding the largest value in a list. All right, hopefully you guys accomplished that challenge. If not, it's okay. That's why we have these tutorials. And if you wanna check out the Python Club, head over to hackingins.com and sign up for a free trial so you can come join us and compete in these crazy challenges, learn cool stuff that's not part of YouTube or part of Hackington's. It's just part of the club. It's super fun. I take a look at your code and answer questions. It's a blast. Come check it out. All right, go build some Python stuff.